what I was saying on Teachers Pay Teachers. Oh my. <laughs> So it's about 10.30 here. I've just been, I got up, I read my Bible reading for the day, I had breakfast, I applied to several jobs. I'm really, I'm excited about everything that I did last week and the progress that I saw. Even though it was just a little bit of progress, it was really exciting to see. And then to get on to the social media that I made this morning and see how many followers I've gotten. It's already growing kind of quickly so I'm excited and with that it's blogging time I'm just working on finishing my first blog post in a while so I'm gonna show you what I'm doing okay so here you can see the text of the post that I'm working on I then just copied and pasted it and it formatted exactly how I wanted it in word up to blogger um, and now I am just going through and these daily devotionals that I put in, I am just inserting the link. My least favorite part of being a designer is waiting for to load. So, I don't want to be negative. However, this is such a frustrating day. It just seems like so many of the things that I'm trying are not working, and my view right now is no exception. Maybe if I film this, it will actually work. I hate giving up, but I pretty much just gave up on trying to upload the photography that I wanted to put on Society6 today, and now I am just sharing my existing work to Pinterest. <laughs> I wanted to get on here and update you guys about what I've been doing all week because I've really not been good at vlogging. However, I think I still want to upload this. I want to have something to look back on to see what my life was like. Pretty much every day has been first applying to jobs for about two hours. I'm just gonna keep going, keep applying to jobs because there is a right job out there for me somewhere. I don't know where it is, but I'll have it one day. That being said, the other things that I've been doing are designing for Teachers Pay Teachers, which is really fun because that's what I really like doing. If you want to check that out, that's Teachers Pay Teachers, um, Sandra Page Curriculum. So, and I can try to remember to link that in the description if you're interested in checking it out. What I have on there is a free resource and it's taken me like four times to say this right. It's just a page where you write in whatever state you want your students to research. And then they can cut and paste whatever pictures you want to put in there. And then there are facts that they can fill in, like the capital city, the state bird, state tree, I believe is what I put in there. But there's a middle school resource that's different. That's why I can't remember. And then whatever additional facts you want them to put in there. And it's kind of fun because they get to color in whatever pictures you want to put in there. Or you can have them cut and paste or you can just give them the pictures and have them glue it in there if they're like first grade or kindergarten even. Um, so that's free. So if you're interested in that, just check it out. Then I have a state-by-state -state geography notebook, both an elementary one and a middle grades one. So the elementary one is kind of the same as what I just explained. It basically just has well, it has three different types of resources within the notebook. So the first one is an all about page, and that's pretty much just you have your students fill in whatever state you want them to study, and then they can either cut and paste pictures that you give them, or however you want to work that out. They could color a picture, whatever you want. Um, and then there are blanks to include the capital city, the state flower, st or state tree, state bird additional fun facts, stuff like that. Um, so you can kind of be a little more creative with that. And then 
the notebook includes a page for each of the 50 states and each page includes a coloring box for an outline of the state, the state flag, and then the state bird. Um, and then at the bottom there is, again, that capital city, fun fact, state tree, state bird, stuff like that that they can fill in. The last thing is a My State page where you have them write in the name of your state and then they do a little bit of research about their own state and again, you can have them draw a picture or cut and paste, however you want to work that. And I tried to make it very flexible. It's black and white, pretty much, so that you can work with it however you want to. Um, I would prefer it more colorful, but I know like black and white just makes it easier for you to be flexible with it. Um, so then I also have a middle grades geography notebook that's very similar, except for it doesn't have coloring blocks coloring boxes it just has boxes where you can have your students insert whatever picture you want them to put in there so if you have a landmark in your state that you want them to find a picture and cut it and put it in there they can do that and then there are just a lot more facts than the elementary notebook include population of cities like the largest city smallest um also they can list the different landmarks the most interesting thing about the state, whatever, or what the state's best known for. So it's just a little bit older version of the elementary notebook. So there's that. I have that free resource, the two geography notebooks, and I also have what I used when I was a Montessori preschool teacher. It's just the weekly development goals page, and pretty much you just have class list of all of your students, their names, their ages, um, and then for each student, there's a box and it, you just list whatever your goals for that week are. For me, I had like what color I wanted them to work on learning, what words, um, I taught toddlers in case I didn't say that already. So like color, words, shapes, the shapes not included, but you can write that in there. Um, and then Montessori skills. There is a part at the top of the page where you can put in your class schedule and then also a part where you can write your goals for the class as a whole and then each student has their own box so a lot of growth and development through that so i definitely recommend it it's definitely worth it and it's something you can use over and over again every week that being said that's pretty much what i've done on teachers pay teacher the other thing that i have been working on most of the time this week is society six prints and society six.com is a really cool website where you can upload art or what you can do is go on there and they have tons of artists who have uploaded art and they put these art prints on products like clocks and art prints, canvases. My favorite is the wood wall piece. And there are also tapestries. I know those are really popular. So if you are looking for a tapestry, check out Sandra page one at society6.com. There's just lots of back to school stuff. If you're looking for dorm decor, check it out because there's a lot on there. I think I have, well, I've definitely uploaded at least 15 different prints, but it might be more than that. I set up an Instagram and Twitter just to share those products, um, as well as my YouTube videos and just stuff like that. So that's what I've been doing all week. And then pretty much what I do is just once I've created a product, I just share it on all the social media plus Pinterest. And that's what I've been doing. So I share everything on my Instagram. But there you see my profile. And there are some of my designs. And I'm sorry I'm showing this on my computer, so it's kind of grainy. But yeah, you can just see what I've uploaded. So then this is my Twitter, and I put a GIF on that um, tweet that I shared. But most of it is my Ibotta, my Society 6, you can see the designs that I've uploaded, um, some encouragement, my YouTube, and then Teachers Pay Teachers. So that brings me to the other thing that I've been doing this week, is trying to find babysitting jobs. And right now I have two maybes, and that's about it. I know somewhere out there is my job and my apartment, and I can't wait to find it. That is my life after law school thus far. Pray for me.
but I do decide I might include the concert that I went to in this vlog because it was my birthday concert and probably the last fun thing I'll do for a while. Um, but it was great. It was Lauren Daigle and for King and Country. So if you know who Lauren Daigle and for King and Country are, you understand why I'm so happy about this. It was so good. It was at the Biltmore State, actually. It was just amazing. I love going to concerts there because the views are amazing. And then to hear my favorite artists, it was just wonderful. We also had to get evacuated into the Biltmore house because of a storm that was approaching, but then we got to go back out to the concert. I will include pictures of that. We weren't supposed to video and I am a rule follower, so I did not video anything, even though I really, really wanted to but I'll include pictures. So that being said, that's pretty much everything I've been doing this week. Fun times. And hopefully maybe I'll have something interesting to share after this.